Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, today I am out on the V12 High Talk um, just for another ride but I want to just double check my range from my previous video. Um, a lot of people say they can get easily 50, 50 miles out of, out of the wheel and they've got about 20% um, battery left. I'm getting 40 with about 12% battery left. So I just want to go out for another ride um, I did yesterday and I'll put it up somewhere here um, where you can see my ride to the office and my ride back. So fairly slow, I think it's about, um, and also in, you know, medium, it was the 30% road and 30 uh, and sort of the rest was all um, uh, uh, gravel, um, so it wasn't that fast. And, um, and also the weather is like perfect, so it's, it's not too cold, it's not too hot. So the wheel should give me um, pretty much exactly the same range this morning. So I've done 20 miles um, so far, and um, I'm just out this morning to finish off the rest of it um, on a, it's about a 30 mile loop. So that will give me 40, 50 miles. So we'll see when we get there. So come along and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I'm now uh, next to the canal and uh, just some, uh, some quick feedback. So uh, what I was saying about the wheel being very bouncy is um, as, soon as, as soon as the road is, is smooth, this thing just picks up speed and it goes like a demon, absolutely like a demon. But as soon as it, um, like, like the backcountry road here in the UK, it's super bumpy, so there's small little, it's almost like there's uh, roots underneath the tarmac. And it creates just a small little bump, and then the wheel just wants to buck you off. And, uh, you know, listen, I'm just, I'm just explaining my um, experience. You know, for other people it might be different, but it's, but it's just for me that is, uh, that's it. You know, it's, it's almost like the wheel wants to buck you off. But when the trails are smooth like it is now, it's absolutely lovely, man. It's just absolutely lovely. So what I'm saying is, is you need to be awake. When you, when you do ride this wheel and uh, you're going fast and there's any little uh, 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 undulations in your, in your trail, you need to be able to uh, counteract it by bending your knees and uh, you know, making sure the wheel goes over it and you are sort of a little bit behind it so your legs can be like a shock shock absorber because uh, otherwise you're gonna be penguin penguining off the front but man as soon as the trails are smooth this thing is absolutely sweet I went up to uh, 50 51 kilometers an hour there back there and uh, it's absolutely lovely, just super stable. The other observation of this wheel is just, uh, <laughs> man, um, I have never never used a wheel that is this quiet it's like it's like a, a batmobile it's just like the the motor doesn't make any sound the tire is it's just so quiet on the road and on like smooth trails you can pretty much just hear like the leaves if you go over the, over it otherwise it's just it's just, it's just like super quiet it's it's sometimes quite a Quite a weird experience because you know um, the Sherman has got this massive whine um, for the tire, and I really like that. Um, the reason, the reason why I like the um, whine on the tire is like I had a, uh, I had a BMW uh, Scrambler, and uh, what this thing you you learn how to ride the bike. On, uh, on sound. Let me just get past here. It's 
so um, so you learn how to ride the bike on sound so you know when you uh, you don't need, need a, you, you do not need a rev counter you, you sort of learn when you need to change the gears and I really like that and then uh, getting to know um, your your uh, bike now the Sherman is exactly the same the tire makes a different noise at a higher speed so you know sort of at what speed you're going at and that's just absolutely awesome but I like it I might turn on this uh, this noise and see how that sounds. Let's go. So I've got the sound wave on now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> it's almost like uh, like wind blowing through something. Or a, uh, a, a uh, like a plastic bottle stuck in the rear of a tire <laughs> like like I did when I was younger to get get that uh, uh, like noisy that uh, motorbike sound not really a motorbike sound but you know what I mean it's almost like when you don't put any power in it's quiet but as soon as you put a bit of motion in It mimics the Sherman's experience. Okay, um, I just did a quick little stop um, just to change the balance angle. A lot of guys were saying that if you uh, tilt it up a bit on the front, it feels a little bit better. Um, you get a bit more, um, especially when you try and brake, because the, the pedal is, is leaning uh, upwards a bit. And, uh, Two degrees is too much, and one degree feels uh, really good so far. So um, I'm going to ride like that for the next of the next uh, section here. I've also done uh, playing around the split mode, split modes as well, and I think I'll do a little uh, separate video just on the different uh, the options for the split mode. I couldn't find a, a very clear video under explaining how split mode works so uh, we'll try that out the runner is saying that the wheel is cool I wish I could uh, just get some shoes on and do trail running would love to do that but my uh, not a runner morning thank you very much not a runner at all my knees and hips and stuff all don't like running especially long distance but yeah it's such an awesome awesome sport to do hard on the system but uh, I think super cool explore everywhere okay guys um, just to give you an update this is usually my spot where I stop um, for for a 10 mile ride one way and I'm sitting at 36 percent battery um, 10.77 miles I'm actually going to turn back now because I don't want to get stuck um, somewhere here and I need to get my wife to go and fetch me <laughs> but uh, 41 degrees 49 minutes of riding time I had to turn back home to go and fetch something so it was a little bit slower in the beginning um, average speed of 11.7 miles and uh, average riding 16 miles per hour but yeah 37 percent so i'll add all these things up when i get home and i'll let you guys know but it's uh, 20 30 30 miles all in all in and i'm sitting at 37 percent okay let's turn back and see with how much sauce i get back home with <laughs> So just about the braking you know when you uh, when you do have this the side pads like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna reference the Grizzler pads because that's that's what I've got and it's got that nice uh, fins or the or the rear rear parts of the pads that allows you to really lean 
in and break the and, and allows you to slow down it makes such a big difference especially if the wheel is heavy um, the funny thing is I can I can really uh, stop much quicker on my Sherman and my S18 compared to this wheel this is even with the Sherman not having the pads on it's it's weird I, I can't explain this I, I, I do not know why <laughs> um, like the S18 is because probably because it's light I can just really lean into the pedals and it just like really breaks nicely and the Sherman I don't know maybe it's I sometimes use the like the like the roll bar in the front just to grab on and lean back like a uh, like a handle so uh, but not always it's just the the pedals it feels like the pedals might be longer so I get more um, leverage on the wheel I don't know but this is but this is again the stuff that you can fix with uh, with the split riding mode you can set it so when you brake the wheel actually starts tilting backwards and uh, that's quite a uh, quite an awesome function to have and I think I'll cover the split split ride and just go through the menu in another video just to give you some feedback um, 23 kilometers and I'm, I'm assuming this is close to let's just keep it in the miles 18 18.3 miles so 18.3 miles and I'm sitting on 19% battery and if I go over what is it 30 so sorry 40 kilometers per hour I get the alarm just so you guys know let's go but uh, just to just to just to sort of uh, give you guys some feedback as well I don't uh, I don't like riding the wheel till it till it eking out the last bit of miles to see how far it can get it doesn't defeat the purpose of of having the power you see if I'm sitting at 40 kilometers an hour or sitting at 35 and I want to overtake a car or I want to overtake something an obstacle in the road or something just want to get out of the way and I cannot because the wheel tilts me back that's quite dangerous in my eyes um, but uh, but yeah so uh, I would rather prefer to sort of get get the mileage get the mileage uh, done for for what the wheel can give you at at a, at a at a good speed at a good speed yes you can slow down further go down to say if I go down to uh, 20 kilometers an hour and then I can overtake something or whatever but uh, yeah sometimes you are at a higher speed specifically guys that like riding faster and uh, if you there we go 37 kilometers an hour I'm getting the beep so uh, this run was now under 20 miles and uh, that 20 miles and 20 miles is 40 miles till it beeps I'm sitting at looking down yes the wheel is on uh, is on is in motion <laughs> excuse the pun but uh, yeah it's beeping so uh, there you go I would say safely 40 miles and listen I'm a 75 kilogram rider I can't I, 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 I don't ride any different it's, it's <laughs> this is how it is <laughs> I think if you're a heavier rider you're gonna get less if you ride faster you're gonna get less um, I know where I am oh yes I think I know where I am yeah so now it's telling me to get off <laughs> I'm sitting at 13% battery it sort of just dives down here right at the end I'm doing 30 kilometers an hour I totally forgot I need to get home because uh, my wife's going out and I've got 10 minutes to get home and now uh, I need to slowly creep home but yeah guys I'm gonna I'm gonna end the I'm gonna end the video yeah you get a good idea now I think I think 40 miles is a say 45 miles will be a good will be a good uh, range 
but uh, and yeah, then you then you need to make sure that you've got your charger so you can uh, pump some more source into the battery. Whoa, thirteen percent. I don't want to go down now. But yeah, I need to get home. I need to get home. So yeah, thanks to, thanks again for watching. Thanks for joining this video. If there's any questions about the wheel or anything, please drop it in the comments below. If you have any other experiences about range for you, just explain to me a little bit uh, about your rider weight, the speed that you were going at, and uh, you know, the temperature, you know, just, just, just so other people can also get an idea of what range they are getting. And listen, I'm not a, a speedy rider at all. Um, I'm, just, uh, I'm just riding the wheel to my comfortable levels, really. So uh, yeah, drop them down below. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It's, it will be much appreciated. And please uh, drop a big like on the video. See you later.